Look at the flooding. Can't believe it. Ooh, we got to help a neighbor out in need. This is going to be a blank show. Let's get to it. So we are back here in Missouri. Oh man, Leon's still here. Uh, news, we got rained out of camping early. I just found out one of our neighbors around the area, around the county here, has wheat still in the field. Uh, he is stressing out. Just saw him at the FBN where he can meet up. Most of his wheat still flooded. Some of those wheat we're going to see is still got water standing in the field. He just can't get it out. So all the local farmers around here got together. Our harvesters, the old Gleaner and the 2388, ain't going to get it done. So they're just going to get stuck right away. You either have tracks or you're not in the field. Uh, I was really hoping to use old Gleaner once, but... Looks like we're going to have to postpone that until it gets to soybeans. Eh, it's a bummer. But, so I talked to Jim. We're going to go up and borrow one of Jim's uh, harvesters. Leon's still here, helping him adjust his uh, Dirty Max in here. We're trying to get it set just right. He did a lot of work with chipping it out and everything, so we're trying to get it. It's, it's not running just right. There it goes. I think we set it just about right. Uh, Leon, beans are camping, got rained out early. It's been a downpour. It's serious. This is like the, sh the shit show of harvest. It has been horrible trying to get this wheat out, trying to get the small grain out. All the local farmers named it the shit show. And it is. Luckily, we got all of our stuff out. Jim had to harvest his stuff green some of his stuff green but we still have a farmer in need we're gonna go help him out I'm gonna run up to Jim Jim is obviously on vacation with my cousin so he isn't around but we're gonna use one of his tracked harvesters run up there get it all ready run over meet Matt in the field we are racing Leon oh man he is really blowing us away Look at him go! Wow! He's crazy! Wow, Jim. You didn't even put your harvesters away? Holy cow. Yep. Leon won. Dirty Max beat the Cummins this time around. Leon actually named this, and I kind of like it. Named it the Mute, because it actually has a Cummins in it. Not a Ford. 7.3 of course Leon won but his uh, motor overheated again so we're basically letting this thing cool off a little bit I guess he won that race but did he really I don't think that counts maybe it counts but as you see Jim took off with my cousin on a vacation and he didn't put this in the shed. Look, it's filthy. It's mud all over it. Grain carts. That grain cart still has grain in it. Are you kidding me? Come on, Jim. We got to be better in this. All right, looks like we're going to have to pressure wash this all off. So, uh, you know, doing Jim's job again. And looks like we're going to have to unload his semi. That wasn't even unloaded. Jim. Alright, now that we unloaded this, I gotta back it up and then load up, unload the grain cart so I can clean that and put it away for Jim. Horrible farming, Jim. Unloading the grain cart here. Jim's job, I know. Hopefully, then I'm gonna have to get do about a couple hours of uh, pressure washing and then maybe I can finally get to the field that's horrible man 
You're gonna be so far ahead of me. Alright, when you're taking your buddy's beautiful harvester to the neighbors, you gotta have it clean. That's just a given. So make sure to clean that off. Now we just have to go pick up the head. Pick up one of these heads over here. Jim actually has a couple draper heads over here, I think. So we've got some down wheat. So I'm going to go with the, I don't, this is a 973 harvest head, McDon. So look at all them teeth on there. Hundreds of them little things. A little bit more than this one. So I think this might be better with down wheat. Uh, that's just my opinion. And it also has an auger. So a lot of times down wheat, it basically, it comes in slugs. It'll all come at once. So especially when it's been wet and everything, they kind of intertwine. And you kind of need an auger. You can't just have a draper belt. At least uh, that's my opinion. bad thing about this is it doesn't have fold-out wheels so I think I'm just gonna have my buddy Leon run in front of me here and we're gonna get to this place it's it's kind of it's a messy out there so we're gonna try to get to this field yeah I think he'll probably just take his truck I'm going to have to wait for him to pass me here. Real problems. Waiting for train. Anytime today. Look at all that grain going to... I don't know. Who's buying grain now? I don't think anybody is. Alright, train's gone. Oh, we... Train... Train's passed. Uh, oh, there we go. There we go. Holy cow. Look at all this flooding. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm driving around without my hazards on. Oops. There we go. Look at all that. Look at the hazards reflect off of all that water. Oh man, is that a lot of watered down wheat there. Ooh, this is real problems here. So we are almost to the field. Oh man, look at that big wheat field. Ooh, I bet that is wet. Look at the ditch over to the side here. Just saw everything wet. Ooh, we got a few more harvesters over here. Got some grain carts. Ooh, wow, look at this rigs. Look at this. I don't even know where to go. There is so much equipment in this small little yard. Uh, don't hit anything. Don't hit anything. Let's look at this stuff. Oh man, we got the 8120. So a neighbor brought this over. Look at these little saucy tracks. Wow, that thing looks like it could go through a little bit of mud. Wow, that is quite the track on that thing. It also has a McDon draper head. I think the exact same one as we got. Got the little rainbow stripes on the side. Got the headlights, a Dimco extension. I like it. Reminds me of Beast Bind. You're gonna call this Track Bind? I don't know who exactly owns this. If, if this might be Matt Matthew himself. Not positive. Ooh, looky here. We got the spaceship here, the S780. The big old tracks on it. These probably have the highest tracks. Look just about like ours. 8230 or 8240 sorry 
It's the 40 series. It also has the air reel on, which will probably be great in this down weight. So we got the one John Deere here, 7000 series. It also has a huge tank extension there. I mean, look at that thing. That's what she said. But we got ours here with the same header over there. Whoa, look at these RTs. So these are 28270s. 8370s, sorry. Oh, wow. So one has a loader on the front. Graffle loader. Wow, I, I haven't seen many of these RTs with loaders, but that is definitely unique. Looks like he has a JM 1432X tracked grain cart here. We got a Balzer. Balzer 1725 with three tires on it. Wow. Look at this. Another 8370 RT with a pit bull blade in front. That blade. Ooh. I like this setup. Don't know if I would use that while I'm riding around in a grain cart, but they're not my grain cart, so I'm not gonna say yay or nay but they do look kind of cool to be honest that's definitely a very unique grain cart rigs so we got three grain carts we also have i think two trucks Ooh, look at these uh t800s kenworths looks like a matching trailer on this truck Ooh, it has big fatty singles on the back that's cool we also have a dump truck here Another T80, T800, sorry. Three axles. Wow. That thing is sweet. Now all we have to do is get to the field. All right. Matt is taking off. The, other, the entrance to this field is actually flooded. So we have to go the back way. This is obviously not the entrance to this field. We're going to have to jump some train tracks. Wow. This is kind of fun, to be honest. Ooh, he's going to jump in train tracks right there. We'll follow his lead. Wow. He's, oh, wow. The train tracks. Quite the challenge right there. Oh. Oh, oh, I think I got, got to raise the head a little bit. Wow, wow, bumpy, bumpy right there. All right, waiting for Matt to get through. Oh, do you hear that? Oh, no. Holy cow, that train almost hit me, slammed on the brakes, and now it's blocking our entrance. Oh no, these are real problems right here. Wow, that was so close. I was sitting on the train tracks waiting for uh, Matt to get over, and I noticed a train coming, and I just got off of him just in time. We're going to have to ask this guy to move because the John Deere is still on the other side and there's no way to get over to this field unless over these train tracks. So we got the train to basically move a little bit. We're still a little bit. We got the grain carts that we still need to move over. We're trying to clear out a spot. I mean, literally, I mean, we're packed in here like freaking sardines. The green and the red have to be so close, I think they may end up fighting. Ooh, but at least we didn't get hit by the train. Man, this is just a crazy harvest. Oh, we are going finally. Man, is this crazy how almost get hit by a train. We're literally harvesting in a field that has standing water over there to the side. 
probably can't see it, but it's way over there. You got standing water over in that corner. I'm surprised that grain, I'm surprised the train was even moving because I would think they would be afraid of the tracks getting washed out. Maybe they inspect them prior to moving. But we have the reel running really low because we do have some down wheat. This is wheat it has been in the field way too long. This is should have been double crop, but it's way too late for that. So we're going to have to end up harvesting this late. At least we're getting somewhat of a crop off of it. Yeah, it's filling up fairly good back there. The old axle flows are leading the way, John Deere. Just letting you know. We are harvesting around this giant puddle. Oh man, man, Matt, he sure is ballsy how far he went in there. He's going in standing water. It's crazy how much water we got here. Wow. I don't think I can take this heavy harvester that far in. I'm glad he did that pass because uh, don't want to clean the tracks out. Anybody that's ever cleaned the tracks out of these things, uh, I don't think you would willingly want to do that again. Whew. At least uh, I think we're at a higher point of the mud puddle for a field here. So I think we're good so far. And this is starting to become crazy. Got the blade rig. Oh, oh, oh. I'm a little bit too close. Oh, I'm running over wheat. I don't want to get too far in there. We're empty, so we're not too much of a risk, but wow. That pit bull blade is huge on this thing. I know, I know, I know. That's what she said, but uh, I'm trying to get over here so I can unload these. Man, both their augers are gonna be against the wheat. We got so much going on here. We got the harvesters running back and forth. We got the green. The green and the red ended up splitting apart there. So red's on this side and green's on the other. Hopefully I can unload one of these here. I was hoping don't think we're not getting the best yields either the grain got knocked off and it's on the ground or we just uh, aren't really uh, it's just not great yield so it's either knocked down from the stem or the grain just got knocked out of the pod and now it's you know on the ground one of them is going on here but probably didn't need two grain carts but when farmers come together we just uh, blow people's minds we got three harvesters for this teeny field giant like I think two eight series well three eight series harvesters I think because the John Deere is I believe an eight series too oh wow that John Deere is ballsy look at him go don't think I would be going there, but okay. It's crazy, all this stuff going on at once. A lot of craziness in this field. It's a problem when you get too many harvesters in a small field. This type of stuff happens. Leon over there, he's running Jim's harvester. 
And look at him go. I think that's the first time he's ever run a harvester, but that's basically uh, pretty easy to run harvester. It's not hard whatsoever. Looks like uh, the old greenie who wants to unload here. That sure doesn't have a very long pipe on that thing. There we go. Just barely reach. That's the good thing about this Balzer. It, this grain cart is just has a huge unloading width there. Giant. Look what these clowns are doing. Better calm down there. You're a little bit close. Jim will not like it if you wreck his head. Looks like Matt took the lead. Wow. What are you doing, Leon? Wow. We got real problems here in this field. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you later over here in Missouri. The crazy show. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. Make sure you like the video. Catch you next time, y'all.